Modern homesteading, what is it like? What is it specifically? And is it any different from the past? Today, we're gonna to answer those questions for you. Really, the current definition of homesteading is self-sufficiency and self-reliance, where you grow your own food, you preserve your own food, you build your own buildings, you fix or repair equipment that you rely on, you sew your own clothes, you cook your own food from scratch from your property, and you sell and use craft work or products that you've produced on your homestead. Now, modern homesteading adds current technologies that can help you be more self-reliant. One of those is solar. And then, of course, things like greenhouses, water irrigation systems, and solar-powered electric fencing to protect your flocks. And these are aspects of modern homesteading that just make life a little bit easier, and they actually save a lot of time so that you can do other jobs more quickly and have time to do many other things. And that is especially true and helpful if you have to work a regular job while homesteading. Now this idea of self-reliance and homesteading is more than just what I mentioned. It is about separating yourself or wanting to separate yourself from re reliance on government entities and corporate entities. But there is a common purpose and a common mindset among homesteaders that they want to live a more quiet and peaceful lifestyle in connection with nature. And coupled with all that is this connection to your food and where it comes from and how it's grown or how it's raised and connection with the things that you build with your own hands. You have more of an appreciation for all those things if you're doing it yourself. It is just a deeper connection with your place and the things that surround you and things you put in your body. It is much different than that corporate lifestyle that, frankly, I used to live. But to anybody thinking about doing this lifestyle, thinking about changing their lifestyle to be a homesteader, just know there are a lot of challenges. So when you're trying to produce food for your family and things like your bees die because of mites, that is a huge challenge. It's a huge challenge when you're growing crops to sustain your family and they die because of disease or pests. And then of course there are things like your fruit trees dying off for various diseases. That is a huge challenge to get through, especially if you've been growing them for six, seven years. But I do wanna talk about another challenge to modern homesteading and it has to do with the technology that I spoke about earlier. With new technologies, there are a ton of challenges. Those technologies could break and if you solely rely on them for certain things, then you could be in trouble. Which is why in several of my videos, I've talked about having a primitive backup to a modern technology. Having a sickle or scythe available to cut grass and weeds if your lawnmower dies. Having a wood stove available to you if your heating system in your house dies. If you want to check out those videos, click on the link at the top of the screen. But here's a warning for you about modern homesteading. It's been glamorized so much out there on social media. It is extremely hard work. If you are looking for a more laid back lifestyle, this is not it. It's quiet and peaceful, but it is certainly extremely busy and extremely difficult. But at that same time, it is extremely rewarding, especially if you have that purpose in your heart to be more self-reliant. Another big misconception is that this lifestyle is cheaper and less expensive. At first, it certainly is not, but down the road, it certainly can be. Initially, when you're building out your homestead and looking for a place to live, yeah, you can certainly live in a tent for a while, but you're gonna need tools to start working on the property, tools that you may or may not have had in the city. And besides that tent to sleep in, you're going to need to build an outhouse and you're going to need a source of water and that can be extremely expensive. But hopefully you've saved and paid off debt to where you're able to come out to the country and have a little bit to start with. And just remember also that you are going to have to develop a serious amount of different skills to be able 
to come out here and be self-reliant. That means building, fixing, plumbing, electrical, preserving food, growing the food, taking care of animals, all of it. You need to start developing those skills right now. So what has this homesteading thing been like for us? Well, it's been a big challenge, of course. There are a lot of things that we've had to endure and a lot of things that have been a total joy. There have been financial challenges, there have been sicknesses, there have been surgeries, there have been wells going bad, bees dying, chickens dying, a whole bunch of things. But in the end, you get through that. We personally get through that with our faith, and maybe you do as well. And if you're looking at doing this lifestyle, that is a big thing that has helped us throughout everything. So both my wife and I came from the corporate world. We lived in Washington, D.C., where we walked to work and didn't own a car, walked to the grocery store, relied on everything around us to be safe and okay for us to be able to live. That was not the lifestyle for us anymore. I strived in my younger years to get to a place like that, to climb up a corporate ladder, to do a cool career, and all of that. And at the end of the day, it came down to being in a place that's more peaceful and quiet, that I can rely on these two hands to be able to do a lot for me and my family. I'm thankful that I had a father who taught me skills, hands-on skills. And I've always liked to work with my hands, whether it's making models or building things. Those do come in handy when you come out here to live this lifestyle. And he instilled in me a good work ethic, although I didn't show it for a long period of time. But it came back when I had to do it because my family relied on me. But for all of you who are still stuck in that corporate world, I want you to take a look at doing one thing first, and that's paying off your debt. Once you do that, that can free you up from being tethered to whatever career or corporate job that you have. It can free you up to move and get out of the city and come to a quiet place like this. And recently, one of my subscribers contacted me on email. They asked me, Eric, please talk about how you got out, how you were able to uncouple yourself from that corporate world. And Judy, we were able to do that by purposing in our heart and having the goal to do this. And I know you do. And it started step by step with paying off that debt and making the decision to live on very little when we first moved out here. Making the decision to seriously downgrade in the size of our home and the quality of the home, actually, and stick with our 10-year-old cars. But doing all of that seven plus years ago has given the ability for us to build that life here now and build things back up to where we were before. And having that financial freedom to be debt free is extremely liberating because now any little dollar that comes in, we can put it to work here on our property. So what is modern homesteading? Well, I hope I've answered it for you. It can be a lot of things, but mostly it's being self-reliant and using modern technologies. But I guess that's been the same throughout time. When you're homesteading in the 30s and 40s and you had a tractor, I guess that was modern homesteading. And now it's solar panels and freeze dryers. But however you do your homesteading, I just want you to get out there and start doing it. And I hope that our stories here help you in that process. Have a beautiful, blessed day. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.